All right, guys, we're out here at Fireman's Park. Um, finally, gonna give these lures a shot. I got the I got Danny the duck hooked up on my bait caster, and I got that popper, chartreuse bone popper here on my uh, spinning setup. A little bit of wind. Water looks relatively calm. All right, we're gonna start targeting this uh, dock. Just because of, since the sun is out, there's no clouds. <sighs> See if there's any kind of bass hanging out. Oh, well, that's not good. Bass hanging out uh, under the dock, or just around this little island. I think that's probably the best spot. I'm not gonna hurt you, ducks. Don't mess with me. I won't mess with you. for the duck uh, moved around the entire uh, pond um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tie on that spinner bait sorry if the wind's too bad um, I'm gonna tie on the spinner bait because the water's really clear maybe I can get something to bite from that and I'm gonna tie I'm gonna do a finesse rig for um, Probably that lizard. I think that lizard, since the water is so clear, that lizard would be good. This uh, this lizard, the salt and pepper lizard, I think that'll be good uh, with a finesse rig. So I'm not gonna Texas rig it, that way I can keep it off the bottom and then I'm gonna do the this big spinner bait. Hopefully I won't get hung up too much, but fish will be able to see that from, from far away. So let me get this rigged up. So there's my drop shot rig done. That's a drop shot hook. Stupid me forgot to bring drop shot weights, so I kind of jimmy rigged and tied a very small, the smallest bullet weight I got that has the drop shot um, weight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on this lizard. And we'll get the spinner bait set up. The way you just do this, there's a couple ways you can hook these guys. I'm um, trying to see what the mm, top is. I guess it really doesn't matter, but you can kind of just go up. You can go up and just like that. So it'll sit like that through the nose, or you can have it come out directly out the front of the nose. It's a little bit more just like that, but I like it the way I had it before. So we're just gonna go like that. Small hook, small bait. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Finally got a hit. This is on the warrant on the, uh, there it is right there. Look at this little guy. <laughs> I'll take it. I just let it, I gave it a few pops, let it sit. And just let, I just watched my line, and then honestly, the line started to run, so I just tightened up the line, and he kind of set the hook himself. Little bass, little little guy, probably my smallest bass ever. Right on the top of the mouth, if he wants to come on hooked. Yeah, sounds good. Nice little guy, little tinker. All right, buddy. We'll see you. Well, that's one fish for the. That's well, that's one bait knocked out. Um, the salt and pepper. Uh, golly, I can't even speak right now. Um, so that's going to be one lure knocked out off the list the salt and pepper or the salt pepper uh, salamander uh, lizard lure so we're, I'm gonna get a few more casts just to see how it goes um, but I'm gonna start checking the spinner better out now we're gonna go with this uh, somatis baits it's like a drop shot worm or like a finesse worm That natural color is going to do really well in this clear water. Let's go ahead and that. So my 
little Jimmy rig, drop shot rig is doing, doing good so far. One fish is a win for me. Even that, even that little dinker makes it fun. So at this one, you can tell that there's a bottom. It gets real flat right there, so same thing. Just gonna hook it right through the nose, just like that. Let it present itself. Might just be a little perch. Oh, there it is. There's a hit. There's a hit. There's... There we go. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got a little jump out of him. Let's go, Dinker. There we go. Pretty guy. Hook just came out. That's it. Bait number two done. The two drop shot finesse uh, rigs are working good. Awesome. Pretty little guy. A little dinker. But heck of a little spunky fighter. Let's see if I can get a better little angle on him. There he is, guys. Get this old boy back. Out of here. Yeah, it looked like the one I saw. Maybe I think the one I saw maybe was a little bit bigger, but cool. So that's the two drop shots done. The finesse one's done. Um, I'm probably gonna throw it a little bit longer until I get this phone call. I gotta go, but we're gonna move down a little bit. Once I get to the other side and I can get to the deeper water, I'll start throwing the spinnerbait. But hey. I'll take it. Two fish, two baits down. Can't complain. All right, let's go. Let's get to the spinner bait and get out to the boat. Where we want it? Gotta get way out there. Well, I was doing the spinner bait for a little while. Um, I was getting no hits, and I kept getting too much grass on it. Switch back to the natural. Uh, a little uh, worm, drop shot worm, and got another hookup. Little guy, little dinker. Just barely hooked. Little tiny guy. Pretty though, look at the pattern. Can't beat it guys, can't beat it. Got him. I watched him come and take it. <laughs> he swam over and I watched him come and take it. I was real quiet there because I really was focusing. <laughs> he swam over. I was dragging this thing along the bottom and he just came and just, I stopped it when he was near. He came up to it and just slipped the guy up. Look at that. Hopefully I'm getting a good enough shot. Nice little dinker. <laughs> Swam right on over and just slurped it. That was so much fun to watch. <laughs> this water's so clear that you can do that. You know, I have a little finesse bait like this. I hope I'm fucking recording correctly. It's hard to see with the sun on my back. You have a little finesse bait like this. Just drag it along the bottom. You can even Texas rig it would be perfect too. Um, And just let it sit, you know, do it a couple times, let her sit. Something will come by and hit it. That's a bigger bass. I'm looking at them right now. Whew, all right, guys, it's getting hot. Pretty decent day. Um, that's it for this, this specific lake. The video is going to continue. We're going to head over to, I think it's going to be Trex Lagos or Edinburgh Municipal. Uh, I'm going to continue the challenge there. Got about what, four? Four little dinkers. Saw a bunch of big ones. The drop, got two drop shot lures done the finesse worm and the salt and pepper lizard so that's two out of the three or four um i think it's four i have left with that jig head 
um, that I still got to do. But that's it for, for just today today. But the video is going to keep going. So stick around. Thanks, guy, for ruining my vlog. Uh, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. What's going on, everybody? Uh, second day doing this MTB slam. Uh, just got here to Edinburgh Municipal Park. Whole bunch of ducks. So we're gonna be again going back to the duck lure, the first duck topwater. If I can get it in the frame, what am I doing, dude? And then going back to that popper as well. So um, see if I can get any hits on it. The water seems pretty. It's real calm. The sun's just coming up. It's still relatively early morning. It's about 7:30. Uh, to be the best time for top water really gotta be honest with you guys i have zero confidence in this duck i do not know what will eat it or the best way to fish it but i'm gonna be throwing the popper and the duck underneath this dock underneath the pier here on the other side so i can have the sun to my f sun in my face we're gonna move around the pond this way but uh, yeah, I just don't have any confidence in this duck. But hey, maybe I'll get proven wrong. I'd sure love to be. Right, we're gonna go back to the spinner bait. I feel like with this water clarity, it's not the best, but this will give enough vibrations. If there's any kind of bass that it passes by, hopefully it will want to take it. So I'm going to do a couple casts into this pond, and then we're going to move to the other pond that's here at Edinburgh. Give that a go for a little while. And then if we can't get anything, or only fish that for probably another half hour, and then we'll move on to uh, Tres Lagos. All right, well, first spot was the dud. Um, I don't know how to fish this pond, man. Um, if some of you guys know, drop it down in the comments. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, where I'm fishing wrong, what I need to use. I just don't know. I just don't know how to fish this one, you know, at least artificially wise. I can catch catfish out here. I can catch, oh, shit. Dropped out. I can, ca I can catch catfish out here. I can catch tilapia just fine i mean i don't know but moving on to tres lagos um yeah let's get over there before it gets too late it's already 8 37 i'm planning to fish to about 9 30 10 at the latest i do have work later today so i'll see you guys over there up. Um, we're gonna start on this side i know i always go over to my little spot over here but i'm gonna save that for a little bit later I really want to catch a fish on this side. I've uh, seen a lot of people do it. seen a lot of people catch uh, fish here uh, with spinnerbaits. So, wish me luck there. But that's what we're going to be tossing first, the big spinnerbait. I really don't think I'm going to catch anything on the duck here. Unless it's just a big hog just hanging out somewhere. But the water is definitely up. So, we're going to go ahead and get rocking with the spinnerbait. It is a spinnerbait from my Mission Tackle Box. It's three quarter ounces. So it is a little bit heavier. But here's a lot of vibration. The water's really stained here. It's maybe a couple inches of visibility. So the vibrations of this are really gonna have to be the reason why anything can pick, and pick this thing up, so. With the popper and the spinner bait, I got a few hits on the spinner, but, but nothing took. Like it was maybe just some small ones. Um, I'm gonna start working the inside of this guy with the popper. Use the popper a little bit more, and then we'll cover some water with the uh, with the spinner bait. There's some other little places I want to uh, target specifically with the popper. It's kind of basically what I'm using it for. Cover water with the spinner bait. Use the popper as kind of like a specific area thing. Work it past these reeds I'm about to come up to. If you guys have been to Church Lagos, you know what I'm talking about. 
there's always things popping the water over here. Um, so I'm using the, uh, the popper more specifically right here and along the bank. I'm gonna work it. There's a big tilapia that was swimming right here. So that's definitely what I saw swim away a few minutes ago. Um, he came back thinking I left already. So those, if whoever comes out here, you always see like big swim wakes and shit moving away from you. It's most likely just the big tilapia that are here. Back to my old familiar spot. There are a whole ton of fish sitting in this, uh, like always, there's a whole ton of fish sitting in this. In this uh, little drain right here. Funny is that something hit it. <laughs> okay. Well, that about does it. Right, guys well i guess that does it for this um mtb slam fail not so much a challenge um that's all right it was nice to get out there and fish again uh really happy about that i was nice to get out to the fireman's park uh yesterday for you it was in the same video um we're just gonna go over the baits really quickly uh as a as i end this video um these are just salt salty lizards from cabin creek Great finesse, finesse um, bait uh, with this the drop shot rig, and I kind of had to jimmy rig it with uh, a little bullet weight that I had to literally just tie on there. Um, but just jimmy rigged it with that, hooked it through the nose, worked it in that clear, clear water at Fireman's Park. Couldn't have done any better. Uh, caught multiple, multiple little little guys, little fingerling bass on it. Um, the same thing goes with the uh, Sematis baits kind of finesse worm, natural color. Um, they both worked out well, got some bigger hits on some bass who were pushing about a pound. Um, of course they came off the hook, so you know what they say, a fish isn't caught until you land it. So that's the way that happened. Um, the the popper I had a lot of confidence in, and I still do, it just looks too good in the water. Um, and the spinnerbait, you know, it's, it's, it's a bigger spinnerbait, but I definitely have a lot of confidence in it. So, but with this duck, this still got water in it. Definitely gonna have to, my goal is to catch something on this duck. That's the big, one day I will. I mean, I think Fireman's Park is still the best place to use this thing. Um, in a clear water, uh, water dripping on with clear water and with as many ducks as there are there, I'm sure there's some big bass in there that have ate one or two of these guys before. So, but um, I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely check these two baits out on Shop Carl's. They're on there. Um, finesse drop shot rig works perfectly. Gets those finicky bass in that real clear water. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for the support and I'll catch you in the next video.